Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today we're going to make a really cute small pair of earrings using the Pride and Prejudice uh, mini mix from the Magical Mystery Bead Boxes January Box Book Club. I think you're going to like these. I think they're going to be they're going to be really simple but really cute. And let's turn down and work on those. It is again, like I say, is from the Pride and Prejudice mini mix. So what we have here are two ball head pins, four little blue crystals, and four little spacers from our, oh, I guess we have six crystals. There's two more. Messed that up, didn't I? There's our six crystals and our uh, bead caps from Pride and Prejudice. Now we're also going to use these big beads. These are left over from Frankenstein. And then we also have a couple of links. Come on out of there, baby. Of our paperclip chain. As well as two ear wires and two jump rings. The jump rings are going to be needed to hook the paper clip chain up to our ear wires. So we can do that at any time, but we'll worry about it when we get to it. And then we're going to string our beads up like this. One little tiny blue one. The big guy here, another blue one, one of these facing down, one facing up, and then another little blue crystal. Well, if I can find the hole. So it's going to look like so, and then we're going to wire wrap it onto this little piece of paper clip chain, and then we'll hook the paper clip chain to our ear wire. So let's go ahead and do that. These are the things we'll need for this side. This can go in the trays until we get to it. So we're just going to bend this over. 90 degrees. Then we'll get our bell making pliers, which is what I prefer to use to make my um, loops. If you don't, if you want your round nose, go for it. Put it in, wrap it around, drop it down, bring it over. When you bring it over, leave a small gap so your chain can slide in. So there it is inside. Now take hold with your pliers where your loop comes together right here. Switch hands and then wrap. Now since this is facing downwards this wire you want to push it so it's more or less straight across so that when you wrap it, it doesn't try and wrap too low. Boop. Slipped off the wire there. And I think that's about all we're going to go. So let's clip our, our extra um, wire off here. And tuck it in. Being careful because that top bead is glass. So is the bottom one for that matter. If you squish too hard, it'll go down onto that. So now we've got this. And now we just have to hook it onto our ear wire. So we'll just open up our little jump ring here. Go through our paper clip chain and then hook onto our ear wire. 
and close her up. And this earring is done. Isn't she cute? So let's go ahead and make our second one. To do that, we just want to do exactly what we just did again. So we will feed our beads on, starting with our little one, with our big, cool spacer here. There's our ear wire piece. Now we want to do our bend and hook it to our paper clip chain. Bend. Get our bell making pliers. Go into the, so the smallest one is on top. Up and around. Drop it down. Bring it around. And straighten her up some, leaving a gap for our chain to go into. Now this is only two links of the paper clip chain. I didn't want to make it these too horribly long. If you wanted them longer, you could use uh, more of the paper clip chain to uh, to make them longer, or just one link to make them shorter. Or if you really wanted them short, you don't have to use the chain at all. You could just use the beads. That's good. So we'll cut this extra off right here. Tuck it in. There we go. And now we just have to get the um, jump ring open. To the chain and then to our ear wire. Close her up. And our earrings are finished. Aren't those cute? I was gonna look you look uh, for a more delicate chain, but I really, really like the way that turned out with the um, with the paperclip chain. I think that that looks really cool. So there we go. So there are our Pride and Prejudice um, earrings with a little help from Frankenstein with that big uh, bumpy uh, Saturn bead there. I really like them. I think that paperclip chain really made them, um, as well as the, the bumpy spacer. They're not atrociously long. Like I say, if you wanted them to be longer, you could add one more link of the paperclip chain. Or you, if you wanted them shorter, take one link out. Or take it all out and just have the little bead strand. You guys see how pretty that would be? So, this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we have been using the Pride and Prejudice bead mix from the Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box for January Book Club. Hope you enjoyed making these cute little earrings with me, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.